yourself. Eight, maybe ten years back? It's hard to say. The winters blow into one another like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great distance only to oh, see me. Damn. So I poured him ale and fed him bread and listened as he talked. He was feeling... Were you at the good part yet? He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such a great war. It was a burden he could not handle. It was then, with tears wetting his lids, that he said, Dog, teach me the art of war. Lead us to England and to victory. But I shook my head. Ragnar, I told him, I have two weddings I must attend soon. Were it not for these, surely I would help you. Ragnar bowed his head. Thank you, dog, he said. Though you will not be on my ship, you will be present in spirit. And that... Sail out! All right, back to the story. Ragnar bowed his head. Thank you, dog, he said. Though you will not be on my ship, you will be present in spirit, and that is enough. Thank you.